Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I solve a problem in which I define an integral. I know it sounds scary, but you'll need to answer questions like this on your FE Exam calculus section. So practice, of course, is always recommended. Let's take a look at the problem. Now, before I jump in, I do once again want to thank Prep FE for providing this week's question. And here's the question. Evaluate the following expression. Now, if you haven't dealt with integrals, you're going to be a little bit worried, maybe anxious when you see a problem like this for the first time, but they're really not that difficult. And I'm going to walk you through this one step by step. And of course, there are four potential answers as usual. So let's see how we can evaluate this expression you're going to want to refer to the indefinite integral section, the calculus chapter of the FE reference handbook, first and foremost. There, you're going to find a long list of typical integrals. Now, according to that list, the integral of x to the m dx is this expression right here. Now, why am I saying that? Well, if you look at our expression in the problem, you see 5x squared dx. Well, here's the one that you're going to match it to in the handbook, x to the m dx. It's the same type. So therefore, we know that we need to use this. So now we're going to want to drill down and we're going to write it out according to this, right? So you have your 5 there. You have your x to the two plus one, right? Because look at M. See how it's X, M? This is the critical part right here, X, M. So our M is a two. So we're going to plug the numbers in and we're going to come up with five X cubed over three. Now, once you've done that and you've gotten to that point, you want to evaluate the integral one comma two via substitution. Now, you're thinking, what does this mean? And how did you get these two numbers, right? Okay, well, it's really pretty simple. Just go back to the problem, which is what you see here. This was the question. And remember those numbers, one and two? Well, that's where you get the one and two in terms of evaluating the integral. So now, remember we looked at the list and we found out what we were going to use and we drilled it all the way down to this equation, 5x cubed over three. Now we're simply going to evaluate that by putting the one and two in there. So it's five, 2 cubed over 3 minus 5, the 1 cubed over 3, and you come up with 11.7. And that's your answer. So listen, when you see an integral, don't get too crazy. Just remain calm. Find the right equation in the reference handbook. Make sure you select the right integral based on the list, and then you're kind of going to be plugging away. There you have it. I hope you found this week's practice problem video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more FE exam questions and run through more practice problems like this one. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else, and believe me, you won't wanna miss a single video. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and I will respond to them in a future video. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.